Now, as I've said before, I know very little about Arduinos, but I'm trying to learn as we go along. And uh, with the latest sketch that I uploaded to my receiver, something I noticed is, is not all of the um, shortwave band edges were really to my liking. For example, um, well, if we look at the medium wave band here, I'll just uh, just highlight it with the uh, the mouse. Okay, so as far as I can see, and I could be wrong here, and we'll find out in a moment. Um, the first figure is the bottom end of the medium wave band as it's uh, currently programmed. The middle figure is the top end of the band, the 1602. Um, I'm not sure what that 1548 is. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting. I don't really know what that represents. The 9 uh, presumably represents the default um, step, which we'd expect a 9 uh, kilohertz step on medium wave. So, um, no. See, I'm not quite sure what um, that end figure represents. If we drop down to 160 meters below it here, it's a little bit more uh, straightforward as I think that um, that would be the bottom end of the band. That looks like it's kind of the mid midpoint of the band or something because um, that particular band tops out at um, 3.5 megahertz and the next band starts at 3.5 and uh, goes up to um, goes up to 4.5 and the next one takes over from 4.5 but going back to the medium wave band here we can see if, if you're interested in the pirate stations that um, that are on medium wave, uh, the mainly Dutch pirates, they tend to be on normally between uh, 1600 and um, 1700 megahertz, sometimes a little bit further up some of the pirates. And I believe there are some American USA based um, uh, legitimate broadcast stations that um, uh, are above 1602 as well. So uh, probably what we'd really like to see there is to take that medium wave band right up to 1800 so we, we cover all of that uh, bit of the spectrum okay so I'm simply gonna try and put in there 1800 I'll see if that works I don't know we'll try writing that to the receiver and I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the result and similarly if you like listening to some of the uh, pirate stations that pop up on uh, shortwave from time to time and not quite often on a weekend, particularly on a Sunday morning, then you'll know that they uh, live around the six meg uh, mark, uh, but they anything up to um, anywhere between six and seven uh, megahertz. Now, we've got a band here that starts at um, 5,400 and covers up to 6,300. So that will cover the uh, legitimate 49 meter band. The next band starts at 6525. So we're missing a little bit of spectrum between 63 and 65. So I'm going to take that gap out, or try to, and put in there 6525, and then we should just step up that way. Right. I'm going to see if that works. I'm going to write that. Uh, I'm going to turn on my uh, receiver. And uh, you can see it's uh, recognized again as uh, the Arduino Nano on COM3. And we're going to upload that lot and see what happens. And the upload started. Radio's gone quiet, which is a, a good sign. And uh, let's see if that works. Come back to you in a minute. Okay, let's see if our medium wave fix has had any effect through altering that code on the Arduino. I'm on a 9 uh, KC step. Let's step up through the band in here. Look, we've got the extra part of media. I've not got an antenna in this at the moment. We'll test that later. But we've actually got the uh, extra part of the medium wave band now. Uh, right up to uh, 1800. 
So um, yeah, pleased with that. That's extended the band as we wanted. So it is receiving up on that part of the band as well. So there's um, what I can only assume is a Dutch pirate there on 1638. 